Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial we have got this uh, radical equation and we are going to solve for x and then eventually we're going to check the solution for any extraneous ones. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. We are going to isolate this radical so that means I am going to move this 7 to the left hand side so this above equation could be written as square root of x plus 5 equals to x minus 7. Now let's go ahead and take the square on both sides to undo this radical sign on the left hand side and we can see that this square and square root they undo each other so we ended up with x plus 5 on the left hand side equals to and on the right hand side we are going to expand this binomial x minus 7 square by using this a minus b square formula so this could be written as x square minus 14x plus 7 square is same as 49. Now let's go ahead and subtract x and then minus 5 from both sides. So this is what I am going to do and we can see this negative positive x they cancel out positive and negative 5 cancels out. So we ended up with x square minus 15x plus 44 equals to 0. And now we can see that this is our quadratic equation and we are going to solve by using uh, factors. And let's go ahead and factor this one out. The possible factors for 44 are 4 and 11 so our possible factors are going to be simply x minus 4 and x minus 11 and now since we have these factors equal to 0 let's go ahead and separate them so I'm going to put them individually x minus 4 equal to 0 and the other factor x minus 11 equal to 0 so that means x equal to positive 4 is one of the solutions and x equal to positive 11 is another solution so thus we got two solutions x equal to 4 and x equal to 11 and now in this next step we are going to check the solution for any extraneous solutions. And now at first we are going to check the solution at x equal to 4 that means wherever we have a x in our original equation we are going to replace it by 4. So let's go ahead and substitute x equal to 4 on the left hand side we got 4 equal to square root of 4 plus 5 and then plus 7 and on the left hand side we got 4 and the question mark we want to see whether the left hand side is same as the right hand side we got square root of this becomes simply 4 plus 5 is 9 plus 7 so 4 once again is it equal to square root of 9 is 3 plus 7 now the question mark is uh, is 4 equal to 3 plus 7 is 10 and we can see that this statement is false so that means this is not our good solution this is an extraneous solution so thus our x equal to 4 solution is rejected. And now we are going to repeat the same process by checking the solution for x equal to 11. And now we are going to substitute x equal to 11 value in this original equation. So 11 equals to square root of 11 plus 5 and then plus 
seven and we have to put a question mark over here we're gonna see is the left hand side is same as right hand side so 11 equals to question mark square root of 16 is 4 plus 7 so that means 11 turns out to be equal to 11 now is this question mark is this statement true yes this statement is indeed true so that means this x equal to 11 is our solution so thus x equal to 11 is our solution and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye